The season begins with a flash forward, it was September and there was snow everywhere. Many monsters are shown, they were crawling in the snow the military, on the other hand, is seen leading with their guns. Meanwhile, a human is shown he was injured the soldiers fire at him but it wasn't affecting him. We learn the story of this film as a result of this human, and the scene shifts to August. Cha Yun Su is shown here, he was lonely and depressed. He shifts to a green home apartment. Reaching here, he goes to the roof of the apartment and tries to commit take his own life. His neighbor arrives whose name was Li Yun Yu, his neighbor stops him from doing this. She says this will be harmful to the people of the other apartment if he will do this. During this, the security guard of this building is shown his manager doesn't treat him well. Meanwhile, a resident arrives and gives the security guard a rotten fish to eat. After eating the fish the nose of the security guard starts bleeding. He starts behaving strangely after this incident. Some other residents of the apartments are also shown in this episode. A lady is shown whose kid was died in a road accident. The lady still wanders while taking her daughter's scarf. It means she didn't get out of that trauma yet a girl is shown meeting the lady and she was a magician. Another resident Jung Jae Hyun is shown, he gives the girl more info about the lady. We meet Pyon Sang Wook in a body covered with a tape as shown near him. He was torturing it. Later, Yun Su is shown who was called for game testing. It was discovered that Yun Su attempted take his own life on the same date. Yun Su was strange he doesn't like to go out, he used to stay depressed all the time. Yun Su opens the door of his apartment to bring his noodles delivery. He sees his noodles are spread everywhere. Yun Su sees his neighbor and gets scared seeing this. His neighbor was eating her cat. Seeing this, Yun Su goes inside his apartment. The girl knocks at his door. Then Yun Su notices that his nose starts bleeding the girl changes into a weird monster. Later, she goes to the door of another resident and knocks at it. During this, Eun Hyuk is shown the downside of the apartment. There were apartment people around him, because someone has locked the apartment from outside. A girl is shown who was a firefighter. The girl calls for help while going to the management office. All lines were busy and a huge monster is shown outside the apartment. It has a huge tongue. As the residents open the door the monster ends everyone with its tongue. Eun Hyuk and the girl who was the fighter shut the door and they were successful to keep the monster out. The residents notice there were many monsters outside their apartment. The monsters are hungry for protein. During this, Yun Su is shown He was in his apartment and now his nose was also bleeding. Episode 1 ends here. Yun Su's background is shown in the next episode Yun Su is shown staying depressed. He has lost his family in a car crash, since then he was depressed. While searching for Yun Su he comes out and gets faint. As he awakes he sees a neighbor was guarding him. This news has spread all over. When a human turns into a monster his nose starts bleeding. None was understanding all this. Why is this infection spreading? Yun Su was also infected. None has bitten him and Sang Wook is shown a monster has bitten him. The monster was the girl who was Yun Su's neighbor. Sang Wook ends the monster. He leaves while ending her like it doesn't affect him. When Sang Wook arrives at the bottom, the locals tie him up and make him faint. At a point, they want to end him. Sang Wook runs from there. A resident is shown on another side he separates a monster's head with his sword. Even then the monster was alive, now he couldn't see anything. The monster reaches Yun Su's apartment. Yun Su leaves his apartment after seeing him. Yun Su goes to his neighbor, he finds a weapon from that neighbor. He tries to distract the monster while using the weapon. Later, he stabs the monster then he moves with the weapon to save his neighbor's kids. A monster has ended their father. Yun Su takes the kids out of the house. On the way, Yun Su's nose again starts bleeding. He asks the kids to move far from him. Yun Su sees some flashbacks. His eyes are shown black. Episode 2 concludes here. Another flashback is shown in the next episode. We discover about the family accident of Yun Su. Yun Su was also in the car during the accident their car got into the accident because of the distraction of Yun Su. His family members died in it. Yun Su awakes in a hospital after this accident. He used to see visions because of his unstable mental condition. Yun Su sees another vision in the present, he sees his similar face man. His eyes were black, but Yun Su was in green home and then a monster appears. Yun Su again comes to reality. The monster was about to attack those kids. Yun Su competes with the monster, he asks the kids to flee. Meanwhile, some neighbor friends of Yun Su arrive there. 
They take Yun Su from there. Yun Su asks the kids to be saved and then the monster is shown arrived at them. This was the monster whose half head was cut. The other monster whom Yun Su escaped also arrived there. The monsters start fighting. One of the monsters defeats the cut headed monster. The monster again comes towards the kids and the lady protects the kids the lady who used to wander with his kid's scarf. The lady remembers her kid, she decides to protect those kids. The kids have fled, and the monster has severely beaten the lady. The lady is shown infected so the monster doesn't harm her. Yun Su and his friends take those kids and distract the monster by throwing it out the window. They get together at that neighbor's house, the neighbor who has given the weapon to Yun Su. They discuss Yun Su. Yun Su was already infected and other residents are shown on another side. They were watching the news and noticed that the president of the country was also having nosebleeds. His security team controls them, because he became violent. In this episode, a lady named Mrs. Cha is shown she wants to bring her daughter into the apartment. Her daughter was returning from school. Mrs. Cha opens the apartment's gate but before this, her daughter was ended by a monster. A soldier was also ended while saving her daughter. The residents shut the door and episode 3 ends here. Many monsters are shown wandering outside the apartment in episode 4. The residents are locked in the apartments. A nurse named Yu Ri is shown with her old patient. They were trying to come down from their floor. The residents are shown watching the news that the martial law has been established in the country. The military tells the people that infection doesn't spread because of blood but this is related to human desire. Miliary also advises that if someone is infected, he or she should be quarantined. If a person transforms into a monster, he or she should be killed. Those monsters can be ended through fire. The residents start arguments after knowing this. Yun Su comes downstairs with his friends but Yun Su falls down because of the railing and flow. He sees many visions after falling. When he awakes his friend says nothing happened to him even falling from a height now everyone knows that Yun Su is infected. Meanwhile, a resident wants to end Yun Su. Yun Su's friend sets a vote and in this voting half of the people were supporting Yun Su. Half of them vote against Yun Su. The resident becomes furious who tried to end Yun Su. His nose also starts bleeding. Now they both were kept in quarantine on another side, the residents are shown talking to each other. The man is also shown who escaped from Sang Wook's activity. The man again finds himself in front of Sang Wookie lies that he is also infected and starts living in quarantine with Yun Su. Because Sang Wook will end him if he will stay outside. Sang Wook has stolen that man's keys and he goes to his house. On another side, Yun Su's neighbor and the kids are shown. The kids tell them the lady who saved them is locked in the washroom for the past one hour. When they go and check they find the lady has been changed into a weird monster. Episode 4 ends here. Eun Hyuk is shown in the next episode and he has become the residence leader. He makes a new plan. He wants to bring the neighbor downstairs while using Yun Su. Yun Su has taken a weapon because that man has a good knowledge of mechanics. With their help, the residents can compete nicely with monsters. The residents are shown having kids and they remember what the lady said. She said to end her I don't want to be a monster. On another side, the girl is shown who was a firefighter. She discovers that she is pregnant and Eun Hyuk tells her about a block. It was written that isn't a virus but a curse. This block was named Krokuru. The firefighter girl remembers her finance hearing this. The firefighter girl was named Kyung. Yun Su is shown meeting the nurse Yu Ri and her patient while going upstairs. Sang Wook is also shown who was on his mission. He meets a monster there but he escapes from the monster. They also come to the apartment with Yun Su. The apartment where the kids were so they will also be placed downstairs safely. During this, Yun Su's friend hangs a banner SOS outside. Sang Wook finally reaches the man's house. The man who has placed himself in quarantine wasn't innocent but he was a criminal. He has exploited many young girls, they also find their pictures at his home. Sang Wook becomes furious seeing this and goes to end the man. Flashbacks are shown and discovered the man has done many crimes. He escaped after doing those crimes. Sang Wook holds the man when he comes out of quarantine. He ends him. Then he leaves his body out of the apartment. Sang Wook also brings the body of Mrs. Cha's daughter inside. He wants to lock himself outside but some residents stop him. Mrs. Cha feels broken while seeing the dead body of her daughter. Later, she decides to keep the kids with her whom Yun Su saved. The monster is shown feeding a man's body. Meanwhile, another huge monster arrives and takes the monster episode 5 ends here.
The residents are shown and they have divided their duties. They were paying their duties. We discover the background story of Sang Wook. That a man has given Sang Wook the responsibility to search for his daughter. Because of this reason, Sang Wook arrives here. That man was the reason for Sang Wook's accident. His face was ruined because of the accident. The residents are shown practicing fighting with the monsters. Yun Su's friend acts like she is a monster. Everyone gets scared when a monster appears in front of them. This monster was none other than a resident of their apartment but his wife ends him. Because he abuses his wife a lot, he apologizes to his wife in his last moments. His wife ends him. Yun Su is shown doing dangerous tasks but didn't change into a monster yet. But he meets in his alter vision sand fights with his desires. Kyung is shown leaving the apartment on the bike. She goes to the clinic of her fiancé and there was research on this infection. That if a human resists being a monster it can discover how to cure this infection but the military holds Kyung. They ask her many questions and Kyung tells them she knows a subject that was none other than Yun Su. The military releases her on the condition that she will bring Yun Su to them. Meanwhile, Yun Su goes to the apartment on another mission but he meets a monster there. Sang Wook and Yun Su's friend go to save him. They come out of the parking area while sitting in a car. They brought Yun Su from there. Many monsters attack their car but they escaped. On another side, a huge monster arrives in the apartments meanwhile, the residents compete with the monster. They capture the monster. Episode 6 ends here. The monster is shown attacking everyone in the next episode. Yun Su arrives and attacks the monster with his weapon. Yun Su's eyes turn black but he defeats the monster. The residents get scared seeing all this. The injured residents were healed. Everyone take a rest. Yun Su was out of quarantine and he can also live freely. He had dinner with Sang Wook and others. During this, some residents go to the basement of the apartment. So they can bring their mails and parcels. It is discovered from this the residents were still not taking care of themselves. Kyung is shown who was released by the military and tells none can be infected for 15 days. It means after this time they will convert into monsters. The food items run short and the apartment Eun Hyuk plans to go out for bringing things. He makes Sang Wook the head of this mission. He also done some modifications to their car. So no monster will attack them. A girl's condition worsens before they go on the mission. She falls being fainted. Eun Hyuk is shown a medical student tells this girl has appendicitis. He gets preparations for her surgery. The girl's chances of death were higher, but she agrees. A temporary operation theater was made. Some residents were sent for the medical supply. It is told in the episode it was the day when Yun Su planned his take his own life attempt. But now the situation has changed. We are shown the flashbacks that how people tease Yun Su in school. That is why his mental condition gets disturbed. He doesn't even have support from his family. That's why his condition gets worse. Yun Su got a new hope for life and they leave for their mission. As they come out a huge monster turns their car as it is a toy. Episode 7 ends here. Kyung is shown reached outside the apartment again. She has arrived with a fire truck. So she will successfully end the monster and during this, Sang Wook take out the people who were stuck. Later, the car blasts. The monster sets on fire because of the blast. On another side, the temporary operation theater is shown Eun Hyuk was performing her operation. He hears the voice of the blast. He leaves with the hope that they will bring the medical supplies, and the operation was a success. Kyung wants to take all the information about Yun Su. Only we know this the residents don't know anything, Kyung goes to Yun Su and talks to him. She tells everything to Yun Su that how she was caught by soldiers? She tells that she has told the military everything about Yun Su. During this, Mrs. An's nose starts bleeding. This time, no one asks for her to be terminated. Because now the residents were so closed, Kyung was also told to send the information to the soldiers. So they will tell Kyung about her fiancé, she doesn't want to do this and meets a soldier in the washroom. This soldier was thirsty and hungry as well. The soldier eats food going to the resident and Yun Su was struggling for his past. He saw a new reason to live dot and he does a new haircut while seeing himself. On another side, the girl also awakes whose operation was done by Eun Hyuk. The runway soldier is shown during this. He awakens and declares, I shouldn't be here. Meanwhile, he hears a voice on his radio and gets scared from that voice. Kyung goes to Mrs. An and tells her the symptoms of this disease will remove within five days. Until then she has to resist it, her symptoms increases. Her nose starts bleeding heavily. 
Yun Su and Sang Wook go outside the building and remove the SOS banner because the outside people were attracted while seeing that sign. Like the runway soldier, they ran into a security guard on their way back. This guard has been changed into a monster. Yun Su tries to stop him but falls down while stopping him. Due to this, his leg bone break Shea was infected but the healing process takes time. As the monster of the security guard comes down a resident fights with him. He cuts his hand. Even then the resident was fighting and stabs the monster with his sword. The resident takes the monster into the lift. He asks Eun Hyuk to set the elevator on fire. Eun Hyuk has to do this even he doesn't want to. The resident also dies with the monster. Episode 8 ends here. The next episode starts with a funeral. They all attend the residents' funerals. The residents ended with the monsters. Some gangsters arrive in the apartment during this. They end the runway soldier. It is discovered the soldier was escaping from those gangsters. Later, the gangsters ask the residents to stand in a red circle. The leader of the gangster was Jun Sok. Humans, he believes, are more dangerous than monsters. Jun Sok was waiting for the right time to give a fight to those monsters. Sang Wook and Kyung escape from the gangsters and hide in an apartment. They end some gangsters secretly and take their weapons. The situation changes when Sang Wook and Kyung attack the gangsters. The residents also support them. They are also included in this attack. The leader of the gangsters didn't accept his defeat so easily. He again successfully takes control. Meanwhile, Mrs. An arrives and has been changed into a monster. She attacks Yun Su. Yun Su successfully ends her. Kyung is shown successfully rescuing the residents. While doing this a man of the gangsters hits Kyung. But she escapes while defeating the gangsters member. On another side, the gangsters leader and a man decide what they have to do with Yun Su. Yun Su has also healed. Meanwhile, a man ends the gangsters leader. It is revealed here that the man has special powers. It means the man was a monster and in the meantime, some pamphlets fall down from a helicopter. It was written the military will take the people to a safe place who will inform about infected people. Episode 9 ends here. This series final episode begins with Yun Su. Some members of the gangster are shown coming downside and the residents point guns at them. Yun Su tells they have escaped me. Hearing this, the residents drop their guns. They don't believe those members and he tells Yun Su about his pasta kept himself for an experiment. So the infection will be taken out from him, but nothing like this happened. He tells Yun Su that humans and monsters can't exist together. Eun Hyuk gets information here he tells everyone that the military is planning to end the infected people. The neighbor is shown is also suffering from nose bleeding. They were also infected. Sang Wook meets the nurse Yu Ri while suffering from an asthma attack. He tries to take her out, but the man stops Heva was the gangster's member. He asks Sang Wook if he wants to go out with her, he should leave him here. He gives the car keys to Sang Wook. Then he leaves with Yu Ri. Meanwhile, he fires openly at everyone. He tells Yun Su Mrs. An didn't change into a monster and Yun Su becomes emotional hearing this. He changes into a monster. Later, he ends the man with his spiked wings. Yun Su was now a monster so it was difficult to control him. Yun Su's neighbor sacrifices themselves. He brings Yun Su back into the human form. Yun Su comes back to the human form but doesn't remember anything from the past. Sang Wook and Yo Ri are also shown injured. The kids are also shown and the Yu Ri's patient gives them some medals. He says while giving them medals they have to take care of each other. After the hustle and bustle, all the residents take a rest. Yu Ri's patient was also dead. He was also buried. While digging, Kyung finds something in the basement. Meanwhile, the snow falling starts outside. The monster is shown coming out of the building. The military also arrives there. A gangster goes into the basement and sets off the explosion and traps. Due to it, there was a huge blast, the military opens fire on it. The residents of the green home hide in the basement. Yun Su doesn't move with them. Eun Hyuk goes to save Yun Su and promises his sister he will escape Yun Su. He forbids Yun Su to go out but Yun Su doesn't obey this. Yun Su comes out and it was the scene shown at the start of the show. Yun Su moves towards the soldiers and they attack him. But it doesn't affect Yun Su. The residents were hidden in the basement and Eun Hyuk also doesn't move to them. Kyung takes care of Eun Hyuk's sister because she discovers her brother will not come back. Eun Hyuk is shown sitting in the CCTV room. The building was collapsing on all sides, and Eun Hyuk's nose was bleeding. Means he was also infected. Yes, Eun Hyuk was also changing into a monster. 
He knew this. That's why he doesn't move back to the residence. On another side, Yun Su is shown, he was outside and remembers his memories through flashbacks. He was moving forward to the soldiers, another resident is shown he got his dog. It disappeared a few times ago, now the residents come out with the help of a ladder. They find the soldiers there, the residents were loaded into a truck, and Kyung was possibly on a mission to find Eun Hyuk. Yun Su is shown in a military truck Song Wook was driving the truck. Sang Wook was looking different and his face was also recovered. Yun Su was shocked to see this. Sang Wook was looking different because a monster has controlled his body. Eun Hyuk was in the building but was not confirmed dead or alive. He was infected in the last so maybe he is alive. We also discovered the reason for this infection. This wasn't an infection we can call it a curse. People experience this when they are depressed or in a state of depression. It differs from zombies and people who are bitten by them turn into zombies but there wasn't anything like this. As a result of human emotions, people become prey. This is the end of the show.